Hi folks. Uh this is my my washing machine. It's uh it's a Kenmore. It's about ten years old. Front loader. It's not a top of the line model. Uh it's a pretty good one. Or at least it was supposed to be. Uh it has actually needed repair more than one time. And last time it cost me cost me three hundred dollars to fix it uh, I tried to fix it myself and it turned out to be something uh, very obscure and uh, it required some electronic parts to be installed in it and replaced uh, but this time it was a little different uh, the what happened was that the uh, the rinse and the spin were not working um, and I looked online to see how to fix that and uh, people said that the boot that is just before the pump uh, they sometimes get full so I decided I'd check that and I'm gonna show that to you so here we are looking underneath uh, now this access panel on front in case you're wondering uh, it comes off with uh, two Phillips head screws and then it'll just come off uh, pull down and come off but this thing here is the boot and uh, those things can get clogged up with stuff coins and stuff uh, can get in them and if that gets clogged up then it won't drain and it also won't spin so I took that off and uh, it was completely clear there was nothing in there whatsoever and you know the last time this thing broke down I actually did have that off and there was some stuff in there but uh, it didn't wind up being the problem anyway uh, some coins and things but uh, in this case there was nothing in there at all so uh, now getting these these kind of clamps, that blue one, and then there's one on here for the boot. Uh, getting those things on and off is a real pain in the ass. Uh, you know, you need a you need a good uh, set of pliers in order to do that. And even if you have a, a good set, it's still not all that easy to do. But anyway, I did that. I took it off, and there was nothing in there. And then I put it back on. It took me about an hour and it didn't fix it anyway this is uh, how the uh, the drain connects up to uh, to the to the uh, the tube the uh, the hose that uh, actually goes into the drain itself uh, and it's hooked on with one of those clamps but it's a little easier because it's smaller and it just hooks right on there. Now, this is poorly designed because uh, I know you can't see it, but inside there, uh, where you see it coming out, it comes up at a right angle. So it makes a hard turn before it, it actually gets into that hose. And uh, it turns out that it was all clogged up. So I took that off and I pulled the stuff out and now now my my washing machine works now I'm going to show you what I pulled out so this is what I pulled out of that hose uh, it was all right in that area at the beginning of the hose uh, it was all jammed up in there uh, this is all lint and hair and little pieces of paper and uh, various other stuff got caught in that section there now I wish I would have checked that first next time if this happens again I will check it first but uh, I just thought people might like to know that that's what that's a, a possibility is that the hose can be kinked or it can be clogged or uh, and you know either one of those things is gonna cause your washing machine to 
not be able to drain or spin. And uh, it's a good thing to know because it would have saved me a lot of time if I had checked that first. Uh, now if this ever happens again, I will check it first. But uh, anyway, I hope this helps somebody and that's really about it. Thanks for watching.